Hey, this is Matt Atkinson from MJ Real Estate. I wanted to give you an example today of a great conversation I had with a realtor. It's November 4th, so here's a life scenario that we discussed. As I was talking to a realtor today, they're looking to buy a new home, and we were talking about if they had extra money in their pocket, and they actually asked me at the end, they said, hey, we have this opportunity to buy this property, sell our financing, here are the terms. So I uh, want to share this with you guys so you guys can learn. So the purchase price of this example today is $195,000. Uh, that's the sales price. The seller wants $15,000 down, which is the equivalent uh, of an underlying mortgage of $180,000. So I'm going to show you how we put this up here. Purchase price $195,000, down payment $15,000, underlying mortgage of $180,000. You can buy this way with an all-inclusive deed of trust or subject to financing. Different workshops, seminar, more than a five minute video with what's the difference with that. Good for you to do your homework. So as I was talking to the realtor investor, I said, okay, are you getting paid on this transaction? He's like, yeah, I can get built in my commission. I said, that's great. So if he makes $5,900 in commission, uh, I said, here's a question. What if you utilize that as a credit? And they said, well, what do you mean? At the end of the day, the listing agent wants their 6K and the seller, wants their you know five to eight thousand dollars in their pocket so what if you reduced your down payment and you don't take a commission of we'll call it six thousand dollars for the sake of math that reduces your down payment from fifteen thousand to nine hundred he's like yeah that's great i didn't think about that so i said okay so here's an example if your down payment is ninety one hundred and he said his cash flow annually was twenty four hundred his cash on cash return in this example is like 25% to 27%. Okay, if he would have put $15,000 down in cash flow of 2400, his cash flow would be in that example like 15 to 18%. Which one's better? Obviously this one. Here's another example why he likes this example. If you put less money down now, He's also not needing to pay taxes on the 5900 So I said, hey, let's assume you got all of your commission. Don't worry about your split with your broker. Uh, would it be fair to say that you pay a 30% tax bracket? He said, yes. So if your, your income was 6000 30% of that's 1800 He would only gross uh, 4200 He's like, yeah, that's a great point. So in sharing this with this uh, investor agent today, a couple things I want you guys to think about is um, it's a great opportunity to buy seller financing. He, he was excited to buy it with 15 to 18%. He's more excited to cash flow an ROI of 25 to 27%. Um, he has the money that he could put down either scenario. I gave him, he's like, I never thought about the credit before. I didn't learn that until I went to a workshop about 18 months ago out of state. So he's just trying to do price reductions. I'm doing a lot of credits now and actually getting commissions back or um, repairs. So the other thing I wanted to bring this up, <clears throat> why it's, look, it's important to learn about real estate investing, because there's always changing parts, is the way to buy the property. So you buy your property in a land trust or an LLC or you personally, depends on what your exit strategy is and how long you plan to keep the property. So this gives you a good example of different deals or opportunities, um, sharing videos once a week for four to five minutes long. This one I really liked because it talks about long-term tax planning and what's important, which we're going over in the month of uh, December. So recap with this, um, showed the example how to reduce your uh, initial investment, showed them how to get a higher rate of return. Here's the best part of this one that takes it a step further. Let's say he was going to wholesale this property to another investor. A lot of investors would pull this down for 15. Here's one way that I would structure it. So for realtors, why don't you think about this? What if you bumped the price to 200000 and you only required $15,000 now, and then when they took the long-term financing, you got a $5,000 fee? Is that good? So that other investor in three to five years, let's say they only plan to keep it for five years, if you take $15,000 down and then know that you're like, hey, I'm okay to take my fee in five years because you're already getting a commission, you're making a wholesaling fee, that return goes up a lot if you take 5K once they refi. So taking it one step further, you could do a wrap with this property and you could actually increase the interest rate 
and not make any money, make them just finance your money up front because we're all in different tax situations. There's a difference if we earn interest, how we're taxed, versus if we take a commission as a broker or a wholesaler. So MJ Real Estate, looking forward to having you learn different opportunities to maximize your income, think outside the box, or actually think. The most important thing is actually executing. So here's a good example of what you can do today. We'll send this out to everyone, and hopefully you guys will be able to apply more information from what we share. Thanks. Hope you have a great day, and look forward to seeing you guys on um, as we get more information with how we're changing things for 2015 to add more value to what you need to do on a weekly basis. Thank you.